everyone, I'm Randy Floyd, and you're watching episode one of the Ask Midwest Anxiety Show. So we're here at Orange Leaf, but uh, it's a hot day outside. We have Kelsey and Michelle, the West Anxiety. We originally were going to film this outside on a, not a frozen volleyball court, a very hard grass, it's not frozen, what is it, a desert? It's, a, it's outside, it's very hot outside. But instead we decided to come inside to Orange Leaf and have some pro-yo. So, looking back several years from now, there will be a trivia question. Where was the first episode filmed? And the answer is going to be Orange Leaf. Orange Leaf. Orange Leaf. We love Orange Leaf. So, another topic: uh, Olympics. You guys been watching the Olympics? Oh yeah. Have you been watching the Olympics? Night. Yeah. Uh, Kelsey's been talking about the Olympics a lot. This is in Rio. Uh, Michael Phelps gold medal, 2021. What have you guys been watching? Which events? I watched a little bit of gymnastics, but not a whole lot. Kelsey's been the real <laughs> expert here. So my two favorite are the gymnastics and the volleyball. Yeah? I try to follow them. Gymnastics is my favorite. I like track, too. Yeah. I do like the Olympics, but I'm really excited about the NFL season that is Preseason is coming up, all right? So football's in full force. School's getting ready to uh, happen also. A lot of start, uh, things that are gonna start happening. Um, we have Midwest Anxiety. We got a lot of fun things coming up this fall, uh, certainly that we'll uh, be talking more about. A lot of exciting stuff. Ask Midwest Anxiety Show is one of them, and uh, we're really excited about it because in this, you get just to answer questions, answer your questions. If you have questions, uh, you just submit them to us through our social media and we'll answer them. So, should we get into the show? Let's yeah. get into the show. Let's get into the show. Uh, who's got the first question? I got the first question. Michelle's got the first question. So we're talking about transitions and we were thinking about the kids and families that are all going from summer to school. Yeah. So, Brandy, could you start us with any pointers for parents transitioning? I think, uh, like all of us during transitions, kids are no different than we are. You know, think about how long they've been out of school. They've been out of school for three months or so, and teachers have been out of school, you know, for about that amount of time. And, and parents, we've all been in this kind of, uh, you know, in a different place in, in our schedules and everything else. So I, I, it's quite normal for us to, you know, have some trouble and struggle. Uh, getting back into that transition. I know there's that honeymoon period for some kids and families really excited to go back to school and so they're up early and they got their clothes set out and, and all that. So I think, uh, you know, it's different for everyone. Uh, for some kids and, and parents, I know that transitions can be a little harder um, because we've been around each other for three months and we've gotten really used to that and now I'm going into an environment where um, maybe mom or dad or my safety uh, is not going to be with me all the time and so that can be a struggle at times and so really I think what I'm going to ask of and just really focus on here in this question is just more about you parents being able to um, set the standard and the expectation with your child that your child is going to go to school and that your child can handle it. Um, you know, I talked about some about really uh, trying to help them set the stage of, oh, you've got a nice teacher, it'll be fine, and oh, you know, those things last year that you had trouble with, you know, you're not going to have trouble with them this year. You know, we kind of paint this picture sometimes that we don't really know if that's going to be true. They may struggle in various areas, and so we don't want to set them up for kind of this false sense of security. But what we can say is that you can handle it. And really, I think uh, our kids, um, they really feed off of our confidence and our energy and uh, really setting that sometimes, that uh, expectation that you can handle it, we're going to go and, uh, and uh, I'm going to drop you off. It can really be comforting to kids if they can see from you 
uh, that you really think that they can do. And so I think in these next several days, really parents, even if you feel a little anxious yourself, really present to your kids uh, that they can do it, they can handle it. And a lot of those other things that we typically do as far as reassurance and those things. And I think that's a, a little bit of that's okay, but the more that goes on day after day, it sets a pattern. So uh, I'd be kind of concerned about that if, if you feel like it's becoming a pattern that your child needs that to, to feel confident going to school. But overall, I would say going back to school after being off for three months is, is difficult for uh, a lot of us. I know being on vacation for just a week and then going back to work can be tough. So I don't know if either of you have anything to add to that, but uh, I just wanted to stress that uh, it's normal, but also kind of set that expectation that your child can handle it. Either of you have anything to add? I think that sounds good. Sounds good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. It's kind of like your own attitude helps your whole family. So if you're kind of giving yourself a break, like this is, going to be a little bumpy, but we can make it. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. We all, you know, all, as we know, all these things that we struggle with seem to pass in various ways, and we just got to stay um, present in that moment that uh, even though it might be tough in this minute or this hour or today, that we can sometimes start letting that take hold of us and be like, oh my gosh, here it comes again, or oh, I, this is going to be a tough school year. So we just got to stay in the present. So hopefully that helps you and your family. Who, who has the next question? Kelsey's got the next question. What is your number one super skill? Oh, wow. It's a super skill, kind of like superpower, right? Right. Uh, if I was going to name one super skill, it would definitely be self-awareness. Um, I, I think all the stuff that I that, that I and we talk about with people and just as we in my own life, the more aware of you are of yourself, uh, both your strengths and your struggles, and know kind of as you go out into this world where this world comes at you and maybe hits you upside the head or in the stomach or gives you a pat on the back or whatever this world does, that you can understand that you can fit yourself into that. And so if there's a situation going on in your life where you're like, man, I wish if that just would change, then it would be all good again. I think if you can try to change that a little bit and say, man, eh, the situation doesn't have to change. Wait a second, maybe I'll think about changing in the way that I think about it, understanding my feelings, and then my behaviors. And the more self-aware you are, the more that you can manage yourself in that situation that may be challenging, it may be a situation that's really exciting to you. So you know, when I talk about self-awareness, it's not all about just things that are challenging. Sometimes people get really excited and sometimes they don't, they're not aware of kind of their thoughts in, in that uh, activity where they're excited or their behaviors and sometimes they look a little socially off and those things. So just know yourself and, and, and know kind of how you respond cognitively um, in your body and, and physically and in your behaviors. I think that's a great super skill. And uh, so as we're in environments and we're in situations, just take a moment and think to yourself, what am I thinking right now? So what am I thinking right now? I think this is awesome. <laughs> Episode one, we're here, we got the camera, we have orange leaf, it's nice in here, nicer than outside. So I'm, I'm thinking really positive thoughts. I'm feeling actually pretty good. Um, and then so we're sitting here and we're having a good time. So just being self-aware um, in various situations I think would be helpful. So that's the super skill I would have. Kind of like a superpower, if I could have a super skill, self-awareness. You good with that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I guess I can't ask my own self these questions. So Michelle? I got uh, it. You got this question? So the next topic we have is um, performance anxiety. So especially around school and um, sports. So okay. can you say something about that? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, school-related anxiety, performance anxiety in sports, whatever it might be, kind of, you know, kind of goes back to the self-awareness thing. And you're going to hear me and us talk a lot about just knowing yourself, and particularly knowing yourself and your thoughts and your feelings and your body, and just being able to understand when you go into a situation and you're getting ready to potentially perform in that situation, it may be in sports, it may be that you're ready to get, get ready to have a presentation, it may be the first day of school and you've got to 
kind of say something about yourself. It could be your first day at your job, or it could be a variety of situations. If we can kind of go back to that, um, the situation, while it, we think it's causing certain things, you know, it's causing me to feel anxious. Let's, let's think about how I feel in that situation. And so it's it's very it could be very anxiety provoking to sit here in front of a camera that's going to go out to many people and uh, really start to get anxious about oh my gosh what are these people thinking of us what do they think about our answers you know they, could, you could have a lot of performance anxiety in this situation but the more self aware you are the more grounded and confident you are in yourself then it doesn't matter as much as we're sitting here in front of the camera because I'm just delivering the message um, and so I think really kind of as we go with performance anxiety in, in various different situations, really being confident in yourself is, is really helpful. And you know, when we think about this anxiety, sometimes we think about, are we anxious about how we're gonna perform? Like, is it something about me or is it about other people? And then thinking about kind of, you know, who I am and how I am. And so I think if we can just be good with ourselves, then some of this other stuff that I'm talking about, that we're talking about, as far as the anxiety will just kind of dissipate. So what we like to say around here is JBU. JBU. JBU, just be you. Just, just know who you are. Um, we've got, um, you know, super skill of, of self-awareness and, and be school performance anxiety. And, you know, how do I handle this transition? I don't know, are there things that you would like to add to any of those answers or anything else you want to say? When I think about performance anxiety, I also like, I think it's important to know that it can be normal to yeah. feel anxious and that can be helpful. I watched a video on Simone Biles and she said she gets nervous before she goes yeah. out and performs, but once she gets up and salutes to get ready to perform, she feels that confidence that you're talking about and she's able to have fun with it. So, so it is normal. I know. And it's, yeah. it's t sometimes it's a good, healthy normal. Right? I mean, we want to, in performance, we want to have a little bit of anxiety because that cues us up. We didn't have any anxiety, it would be like, okay, I'm going out to the Olympics and I guess I'm going to do this event. And, you know, so we want to get jazzed up, we want to get ready, we want to get in the game. So, um, yeah, this has been a great first episode. Uh, thanks, Orange Lee, for letting us uh, film here in your store. Uh, Oh yes, only one thing, question of the day. Who no, wants I to ask the question of the day? Episode one, I'm a Kelsey, question of the day. Well, we just had our Froyo. Yeah. So, question of the day, what's your favorite Froyo flavor? Favorite Froyo flavor. All right, I had brownies and chocolate and vanilla. You put your answer to that question in the comment section. Um, until next time, guys, you ask the questions, we'll answer them. Take care.